Hello, students. This problem has been giving a lot of people difficulty, so let's talk about it. It reads: TV screens are measured on the diagonal. If we have a TV cabinet that is 56 inches long and 44 inches high, how large a TV could we put in the space? Leave two inches on all sides for the edging and round your answer to the nearest tenth. Now, first of all, I want to comment on something, and that is the very first sentence, which says that TV screens are measured on the diagonal. What that means is that if I was to have a TV and it's rectangular in shape, and I said it was a seventy-inch TV, that means that the distance from one diagonal of that TV screen to the other is seventy inches. So when they talk about TV screens being measured on the diagonal, it means that when you hear seventy inches TV, it means that distance from diagonal point to diagonal point is seventy inches. Now, having that background information, we can go on to solve the problem. So we start with a TV cabinet that is fifty-six inches long and forty-four inches high. And I like to draw pictures because pictures are my best friend. They help me visualize what's going on. So I'm going to draw an approximate rectangle here. So here we have a cabinet, right? It's a three-dimensional cabinet. But what we're specifically interested in is that front face of the TV. So we're really focusing on that front surface right there. And that front surface is 56 inches long and 44 inches high. So our height is forty-four inches, and our length is fifty-six inches. Now we're told that we want to put a TV inside this, such that the screen itself leaves two inches on all sides for the edging. So that means we're going to take a TV and put it inside. So this TV is going inside, right? We put this TV, and it's going inside here. That's one of those old TVs, right? That have that that big thing in the back back of it. Anyway, so we have this TV that's going inside this cabinet, and what do we know about this TV? Well, we don't know how big it is. In fact, we're trying to work on getting that, but we do know that we have to leave two inches all around it. So on every single side of this TV, we want two inches left. Okay, so we have two inches all around. Now, excuse my picture. I mean, it's it's definitely. Not very artistic, but it gives us an idea. And I specifically want to take this picture, and I do want to do one thing. I want to hone in again to what I said, and that is that we're really focusing on the front surface of what's happening here. So we have this TV screen looking from the front, and it's two inches all around. And again, this is not drawn to scale; it's simply used as a reference or a visual to help us. So we've got two inches all around this TV, and we know what our measurements are: fifty-six inches on the length, and forty-four inches on the height. Our question, and what we're trying to solve, is how large is the TV? In other words, what is the measurement along the diagonal? So, in a broader scope, what we're trying to do is use. Let's see, what do we got going here? We've got ourselves like a little right triangle, don't we? And so we can get the diagonal of a right triangle using the Pythagorean theorem. The key being, we have to know how tall this TV screen is. And how long this TV screen is. So those are the two measurements that we're looking for. Let me erase this here. Whoops, sorry. Let me erase this here, and let's focus and reposition that 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 red right triangle right up here. All right. So what is the length of this front of this TV screen and the height of the front of this TV screen? Hmm. Well, what do we know? Let's take our tape measure out. And across the bottom of our tape measure, we're going to measure from here to here. So this distance right here is fifty-six, right? That distance right there across the bottom 
is 56 inches. Now the TV screen itself is only this wide. Well, how wide or how long is that TV screen? Well, I know I have two inches on this side, right? And I know I have two inches on this side that are empty. And so that means that if I have two inches on one side and two inches on the other side, that means I have a total of four inches that are not accounted for, that are dead space. And if I take 56 and subtract off those four inches, that's going to tell me how wide I can have my TV screen. It looks to me like we can have a TV screen that's 52 inches wide. Well, that's good information. 52 inches wide, or long if you like, is how long our TV screen is. We can do the same argument to get to the height. What do I mean? Well, let me erase again. And let's focus now on the height of this TV screen. Well, what do I know about the height? Well, first of all, I know right here that the cabinet itself is 44 inches. And the TV screen that sits inside doesn't go the whole way, it goes almost the whole way, but again, just like before, there's a two inch gap on each side. So what does that mean? That means I have to take away four inches from the 44 inch cabinet. And that's gonna be 44 minus four or 40 inches. So that tells me the height then of the front face of this TV is going to be 40 inches or my TV is 40 inches tall. Well, now we're set up because now we have everything we need to solve this problem. We just have to now use our good old Pythagorean formula. Pythagorean formula tells us that in a right triangle, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Or if we like, the length of one leg squared plus the length of the other leg squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. For our particular TV face or our right triangle, we have that one leg, A, is 52 inches and the other leg, B, is 40 inches, and the diagonal, which is what we're trying to solve, is the hypotenuse, which is C. So plugging that bit of information into the Pythagorean formula, we get that 52 inches, or 52 squared, plus 40 inches, or 40 squared, equals C squared, where C is just that diagonal that we're looking for. Whip out a calculator or go to Desmos, your phone, any kind of scientific calculator or just simple calculator. And let's calculate 52 squared. Remember 52 squared is just 52 times 52. So you should get 2,704. And 40 squared is just 40 times 40, which is 1,600. Adding those two numbers together, we have 1,600 plus 2704 or 2704. And that's going to give us that C squared is equal to 4304. Now, how do we solve for C? Remember, if C squared equals 4304, that means C is equal to the square root of 4304. C, therefore, is approximately, so again, pull out Desmos or your calculator because 4,304 is a very difficult number to find the square root for. And in fact, it's going to be an irrational number. It's not a definite or exact decimal. The square root of 4,304 is approximately 65.604874. And remember, these irrational numbers go forever and ever and ever. 
So we want to refer back to our problem to be very careful about what we're rounding to. We're asked to round our answer to the nearest tenth which is the first decimal place, right? So we want to go right here to this one. Looking to the right, we see we have a small number, so we're simply going to keep that 6. And that means that C, rounded to the nearest tenth, is going to be 65.6. .6. So what do we say? The screen can measure up to 65.6 inches on the diagonal. That's it. If you have any questions at all about this problem or any other problem, don't hesitate to email and reach out. Good luck.